Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So despite all the injuries that we had to deal with, such as losing Nick Chubb, Deshaun Watson, Conklin, DeJuan Jones, the season in the injuries, as well as just having other players just miss games and just end up on IR, the Browns have found a way to finish 11-6 and get themselves a wild card spot. So as we are now in the playoffs, going into wild card weekend, it's time to talk about what to expect for the Browns going into the playoffs, bro. I feel like despite us not being at 100%, the expectations should still be high for the Browns going into the playoffs. And I honestly feel like the sky's the limit, bro. The reason why I feel like that is simple. The de Just look at our defense, man. Our defense is the best defense in the league. Teams cannot pass on us consistently, man. I ain't gonna lie, we've had our games where, you know, teams have got off on us. We've had our games where teams have put up points. It happens, you feel me? But during those same games, we still forcing punts. We still forcing turnovers, you know? So that's what I'm saying. Like, this defense really get down like that, you know? And, you know, some of the games that we lost was because our offense was not picking up the slack. Our offense, we, our defense would end up getting stops and turnovers and good field position for the offense. And the offense would leave empty-handed or just with a field goal, which is you know, pretty much unacceptable for the most part. You feel me? So, you know, I think we have a defense that's good. You can beat anybody. You can compete with anybody, bro. Defense really can win championships, bro. Like, we have the best cornerback room in the NFL. People don't know it, but we do. Um, You know, even though Grant Delpit is on IR, hopefully he comes back this week. That would really help out our secondary, man. But we've been doing just fine. You know, and our, this defense, like I said, can really hang with anybody, bro. So, um, the defense alone has been winning us games. And, you know, without this defense, we would not be in this position. A lot of people want to give all the credit to Kevin Stefanski and he's coach of the year and all this other shit. That's that's cool and all, you feel me? But re in reality, if you want to be a hundred, Jim Schwartz is coach of the year. Jim Schwartz in this defense... It's the reason why we're in this position, bro. And it's cool. You feel me? It's cool. But this defense, like I said, is really that good and really the heart and soul of this team this year. Then you got Joe Flacco straight off the couch throwing for 300 yards a game. You feel me? Like Joe Flacco, I'm going to keep it 100. When we signed Joe Flacco, I, I knew that he was going to be able to win this game. Joe Flacco, he's a vet. He has playoff experience. He's won a Super Bowl. He could, like I said, he could make the right plays, the right throws. Um, but I didn't expect him to play this fucking good. Like, I didn't expect him to be throwing for 300 yards at this point of his career. Like, this this is unbelievable to me, but it's happening. So, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it, you know? I'm just to the point where people think he's better than Deshaun Watson. I made a whole video about it. Go ahead and check it out. I disagree. I don't think that Joe Flacco is better than Deshaun Watson. I just think that Joe Flacco possibly just fits the scheme better than Deshaun Watson, you know? Because Deshaun Watson was really just heating up, you know? He was heating up. He had his moments, but he kept getting hurt. And now he has season in an injury, so we would never know how things would have went with Deshaun Watson. But um, we're not going to focus on that. we got a whole other video about that. Go ahead and check it out after this video. It will be at the end. But, um, yeah, Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco playing like this and his offense being able to put up points. And, you know, the passing game, just being able to thrive under Joe Flacco, as long as he can limit the turnovers and keep producing like this, and as long as the defense could complement Joe Flacco, you can't tell me we can't make a realistic run, bro. You can't tell me we can't make a realistic run. Look at the Eagles when they won with Nick Foles and shit. You mean to tell me we can't make the run they, ran, they made? We are that good. Teams just don't know it yet. Look at the AFC. Let's focus on our matchup first before we look at the entire AFC. We got the Texans. The Texans, they have overachieved this year. They are they are good under C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud, he's great. He's going to be a Hall of Famer if he keeps playing like this. He's that good. For him to come in as a rookie and just not even look like a rookie and look like a, a vet, it's crazy to me, bro. Like I didn't even expect anything out of C.J. Stroud because I personally don't believe in Ohio State quarterbacks. But he's so good, I have no choice but to make him an exception. He's that good, bro. And with him being that good, I didn't really want to face the Texans. I'm going to keep it 100. 
I prefer to see Jacksonville. We already beat Jacksonville. And Jacksonville, they fell off the map, you know? So I know we would have been able to go ahead and handle business against them. They can't beat us, you feel me? The Texans, even though we beat the Texans as well, we didn't play C.J. Stroud. So we don't really know what to expect from the Texans with C.J. Stroud. We know that they were able to have some decent success on us with the run game. Oh, we know they like to run the ball. We have an idea of how C.J. Stroud can play. We know that Nico Collins is a big part of their game plan. Um, and we know by default that their secondary is some shit. Considering that Amari Cooper was able to go out there and break that record of 200 some yards in a game for our franchise, you know? So we just need to go in and play our brand of ball. Play good defense, key in on Nico Collins, Try to stop the run, which will be a little bit challenging. Uh, well, it could potentially be challenging because now Anthony Walker is on the IR. Anthony Walker, he's a, he's the leader of the defense. He's a vet, and he plays good against the run, you know. So losing him is really a big blow, and we're going to need somebody to step up, you know, in order to contain that run. Um, as far as Grant Delpa, Grant Delpa was playing good against the run as well, and Grant Delpa was just all around just playing great, you know. So if we can get him back this week, because he, he is eligible to come off IR, that would be great for this game and moving forward, you know. Um, but yeah, as long I, I think we'll be cool. We don't we we expect we, we know what to expect. It's just we don't know what to fully expect with CJ Stroud not at quarterback, man. So we go in and play our brand of ball, play defense all four quarters in our offense, just be able to put up some points. We're gonna win this game. It may be a little bit competitive, but we should come out on top regardless, you feel me? Now, when you look at the rest of the AFC, I'm not concerned about no other team but the Ravens. Um, you're looking at the Bills. The Bills barely got here, you know? The Bills, they, Josh Allen, he be, he on, he be on that weird. So I think Josh Allen really would just give us the game because he just makes dumb decisions, and he's been throwing a lot of picks. Um, you look at the Miami Dolphins. I like Miami, man. Miami, their offense is pretty good. Um, but lately, they've been looking a little weird when they play teams that are really like that, you know. So, you know, their offense, I can say, would be the biggest threat to our defense. But as long as we just lock in and just put some pressure on Tua and just make sure we shit, triple team Tyreek if you got to, I think we'll be fine, you know. I think we'll be fine. But Baltimore is the biggest threat to us in AFC simply because they've already beaten us and we've beaten them. But both games... Things kind of got out of control. It's just the second game, we're able to come back. The first game, you can ex you can also say that we played with a quarterback that's a rookie that didn't know he was going to start his first NFL game until an hour and 30 minutes before the game started. You feel me? So we were already at a disadvantage, but now we had a huge disadvantage now. You feel me? So <clears throat> that's a lot of the reason why we lost that game, but even that game. We got off to a cool start defensively. The Ravens started to adjust, and, you know, they started to put up points. They started to get things off on us, and we just couldn't put up no points on, 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 on offense. That's pretty much what it was. The second game, they got off to a good start on us. I thought the game was over, and then we ended up coming back because of our defense, and we ended up winning by a field goal, you know. So it's just this game, if we play, if, when we play the Ravens, because I know we're going to end up seeing the Ravens, we just got to be able to play defense all four quarters, and our offense has to be able to contribute, be able to put up points. We have to be able to take advantage of the stops our defense is going to get because they're going to get stops. They're going to force punts. This is what they've been doing all year. They're going to get turnovers. This is what they've been doing all year, even during the games where teams have put up a lot of points. You know? So we just got to be able to take advantage of those opportunities and score. Because in the playoffs against good teams, we're not going to be able to get the ball on the 40 and just leave empty-handed or just leave with three. We're not going to be able to get the ball in the red zone and kick a field goal and think we're going to mark, make our way to the Super Bowl. No, we have to put up points because teams are really playing. To, to, they playing their hardest. Just go hard or go home. You feel me? So Kevin Stefanski and the offense will be tested and the defense will be tested too. But as long as they both come together and play a complete game, I think that we can beat everybody in AFC. It's just that the Ravens are going to be challenging, you know? The NFC, the NFC is sweet. I ain't worried about the NFC. They sweet. The only team out the NFC I'm really concerned about is the Niners because the Niners, 
we just got to admit, they're a good team, bro. They're a good team. They got a lot of weapons on offense. Chris McCaffrey. Chris McCaffrey's that good. You feel me? So, by default, they're a threat. Dallas, I don't see Dallas as a threat. Dallas, they're frauds. They choke all the time. Um, and everybody else not even really worth talking about. You feel me? So, yeah, this is where I stand with my Cleveland Browns going to the going into the playoffs. I think everybody should have their head high. And there should be high expectations still, even though we don't have Nick Chubb and Deshaun Watson, just to name a few of the key players that we're not going to have in these playoffs, man. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Um, How far do you think the Browns can go? Do you think I'm being delusional? And if you think I'm being delusional, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, man? Let, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. And I got more content coming soon.